we'll start with you anil the current pandemic has altered consumer behavior and it has increased consumer comfort with online as everything has moved to a contactless world you could say almost overnight now gartner predicts that this spike in digital buying will have a sustained influence on customer comfort with digital learning and buying so how is godrej and boys adapting to this changing business environment in tune with its pioneering spirit so i think yes the pandemic has uh, taught us all a lot of lessons uh, both in terms of the consumer behavior as well as uh, in the digital gravitation that uh, one can use that word that's happening the pull that's happening towards the digitization of the various activities that is happening but i think most important is to understand what is the consumer's needs changes that are occurring in the consumer's mind the mindsets have changed as you rightly said autumn whether it's a b2b customer or a b2c customer it's not about the products it's about the experience that the consumer is today looking at and the experience starts from the pre sale to the post sale to the service to the assembly and installation so it's a complete uh, chain that one has to look at it and i think that's where we uh, uh, realized it in the beginning and we started talking to the consumers and you will not believe uh, starting from a very simple thing like using digital tools uh, i wouldn't say digital tools but tools like a whatsapp or a video call Uh, or even uh, you know a simple walk through through the stores or a walk through to that and getting the data out of the consumers and showing them and understanding them to going to a different level of uh, introducing iot where the consumers can put in their request and that straight away transferred into the manufacturing activity so we decided that uh, right from the beginning that it's a time when it's not about it budget so it that is important but the digitization is more important and started focusing on that and utilizing the various tools both in front end and in back end going right up to introducing uh, robotics expediting putting up uh, ai and ml uh, machine learning into the uh, manufacturing processes and more important was in the supply chain processes because that was the most affected area which needed to be really uh, uh, worked upon in this time of uh, when the pandemic was there and when the information flow was very critical to the customers with so many lockdowns happening across all the societies being closed the movement of the uh, material being restricted so i think all these came into picture uh, in a big way so uh, we had before in fact uh, before the buzzword of manufacturing 4.0 came in Uh, Godrej had already started working on those areas of bringing in uh, this uh, whole manufacturing industry closer to the customer because it's all about customer STC now and not about customer experience. So how do we work towards customer STC was what we had thought of and moved forward. So that's been our uh, direction. Uh, as I mentioned, we started off in the front end trying to have uh, our own e-commerce site for. Uh, products like uh, furniture which uh, require more of an experience and feeling of the uh, products and how they look in the decor systems and other things compared to uh, being uh, in marketplaces where we could be uh, available uh, to them and now trying to move towards bringing in uh, ar and vr also uh, our designers were talking about on the uh, product uh, changes that were required to meet the new customer needs so move from understanding the customers changing needs to incorporating them into the manufacturing processes whereby the, there is a seamless flow of information from the front end to back end involving the complete supply chain and brought in our vendors also because one depends largely on a lot of vendors for components and other things and how do you get these people involved in it because to make an msme understand that investment in technology and digitization is an investment and not just a cost was mm. also a challenge so we brought in that uh, to make them understand that they need to do the digitization to bring in the factor in it so that was the journey that uh, as a manufacturer and someone who's on the consumer front we took in and uh, we moved aggressively on that front we uh, sort of formed a central digital organization 
because God Vision Bias has got so many divisions. We are into from um, you know high precision engineering products to consumer uh, products like locks. So how do you uh, ensure that the digital knowledge spread across the company can be brought onto a uniform platform and bring it across to the customer's uh, benefit and mm -hmm. bring that also knowledge, sharing the knowledge into uh, the areas of uh, manufacturing. And that's where we were able to collaborate between the divisions and going for things like even trying to make some ventilator components when they were required. Uh, you know. So that was the whole journey that uh, Godish took in.